Hello, everyone. My name is Monique Morrow, and I'd like to uh, follow up uh, for my latest blog with regard to the importance of uh, multi-generational teaming. You know, uh, pe when people talk about the future of the workforce, we tend to think about the skills that are required um, with regards to technology, uh, per se. But we don't really focus on the people um, who are absolutely uh, the, the sources, can be the sources, and yet the uh, targets of, uh, of the technology themselves. And of course, what we're looking at is this notion of multi-generational, what is meant by multi-generational team. So let's break it down a little bit. Uh, when people uh, think about retirement, when, when people think you should be retiring at age 60, 65, 70, uh, this goes back to uh, the 19th century when uh, von Bismarck uh, basically stated that you will be, um, you know, you should retire at, at around age 60 in the 19th century, and people were barely living to age 50. Uh, so one thesis here, one application is that we've never gotten out of that thinking, and that's created a tremendous around, uh, amount of bias around ageism in itself. And on the other hand, uh, we think about people who, uh, young people who really want to go into the workforce and the uh, premise is that they don't have uh, enough uh, experience. And so uh, I do believe that the workforce is meant for everybody. In fact, there is a, um, a human rights declaration on this particular topic, and I'm going to quote it uh, if you will allow me to. And that is, um, the right to work is a human right um, established in Article 20, uh, 23.1 of the uh, uh, Universal De Declaration of Human Rights and in Article 6 of the International Covenant of Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights. So this is around dignity for all. And I do believe that what we're seeing right now is this polarity between, in the workforce, between what is quote, end quote, old and what is quote, end quote, new. I believe that there is the power of multi-generational, multi-generation teaming per se. That is, both uh, groups can work together, should work together, and there is no need to target one group over the other. In fact, there is no need to target uh, one group just to push them out of the workforce uh, just because of, of uh, so-called cost. In fact, um, that is what we're seeing is really some uh, nefarious things being done. Uh, where people, uh, organizations will basically target elderly, uh, elder, older groups, um, thinking that they can actually get more help by, uh, at, um, by going on social welfare, which is really not what is desired in our system. We desire a system of inclusion, and we desire a system uh, where people have the dignity to work uh, with one another and dignity to work overall. So what is the power of multi-generation? Well, multi-generation means that we're learning from one another. There are people who've been in the workforce longer. They um, have a, a view of uh, what uh, they can see that's working and not working. Whereas people coming in, very uh, the, the young coming in to, uh, to say, look, this is the stuff that I, I have learned. Um, can, we, uh, uh, can we actually use it? What are, what are your thoughts? And creative sort of uh, a sandbox, a sandbox where all of us can play with, uh, with one another, experiment, and also produce super, super results for not only um, our customers, but also the industry overall. Wouldn't it be a wonderful world if we could live in where we don't uh, think about pushing organization, uh, targeted individuals out of a workforce, excluding individuals out of a workforce, either because of their age and or because they lack experience and or because they are perceived as more expensive. Um, I believe that our systems are still built and ingrained in these, in these uh, terrible prejudices and discrimination. And I believe this is an opportunity for us all to change that narrative. I join you and encourage you uh, to take action and uh, to create a better world for, for all of us. Thank you.